Welcome back. In this video, we're going to show how to use the Sentec digital multimeter to measure current in a simple circuit. And it's very different than measuring voltage. If you watched the previous video on voltage measurement, uh, we're going to use this meter in a very different way. So first we're going to show how to set up the meter and how to connect the meter to the circuit and then the last thing is the schematic symbol for this. So first of all this dial knob has many settings and we're going to look for the one that says DC amps direct current amperage uh, current really and we're going to set it to the 10 amp scale because we know that the uh, battery over here is not going to supply more than 10 amps to this little circuit. Um, now the probe leads have to be connected very differently for this measurement than we saw in the voltage measurement. First of all, the red lead has to be plugged into the socket that says 10 ADC, 10 amps direct current. So if we don't do that, we won't get a measurement. So we have to move the plug to the one that's indicated by that. You can see that they're kind of connected by these little arrows. And now our meter is configured correctly to measure current. Now can I just take this and measure current by poking the positive and negative terminals like that? Mm, not so much. Probably what will happen if I do that is uh, it's a high likelihood that I'll actually blow the fuse and uh, damage this meter. And if you do that, then uh, you will have to buy me a new fuse and install it. Or you'll have to buy me a new meter. So don't take the probes from the ammeter setting and put it uh, directly to the battery. Now when I say ammeter, that's a meter that's measuring amps or current. So what we have to do is to break the circuit. You actually have to turn this disconnect somewhere, cause a break in the circuit. And then the current has to flow through the meter. So it's going to come out of the red lead through this red lead, through the meter, it's going to pass through the meter, and the meter is going to measure the current flowing through it, back out its negative lead, the black lead, and then the black lead over here is going to pass the current through this, the rest of the circuit. So basically we have to bridge the gap in the circuit using the meter. So as you can see, the light bulb's off, but if I touch the meter leads to here, I get a current reading of 0.15 amps and the light bulb turns on. If I break the circuit by moving the probe lead off, no current. And again, if I have the leads going this way, if I put the black lead on the more positive end and the red lead on the more negative, the circuit works, but I get a negative reading on the current. So that just kind of tells you which way the current is flowing. So the uh, important lesson is that to measure current with an ammeter, you have to put the meter as part of the circuit itself. It has to become part of the circuit. So the schematic symbol for this is battery, resistor, but we're going to put an ammeter, A for ammeter, in line with the resistor, the bulb, and the rest of the circuit. So the ammeter, which is the digital multimeter set to amps, becomes part of the circuit. So this is the red wire on that on the meter here, and this is the black wire, and current is going to flow through the ammeter, through the resistor, light up the bulb, and come back. If you don't do that, then you'll uh, you won't measure the current correctly, and if you touch it directly to the battery, uh, you will have to replace the fuse on that or buy another meter. Now it's time for a short quiz. True or false? You can damage the meter if you connect it directly to the battery terminals. That's true. If you do it, you'll buy us a new meter. Which schematic shows the ammeter correctly measuring current through the resistor? Look closely at the four diagrams.
The answer is A. The ammeter is in series with the resistor.